Okay, I guess we're doing this. Hello, you guys. My name is John. Um, if you're here, you probably stumbled upon this from my social media, which means you know me and a little bit uh, more about my personal life, which is weird. Social media is weird, you guys. Uh, anyway, I'm not going to get on a rant about that. But um, I, I figured I'd film a brief kind of off-the-wall introduction as to what this all is. Um, this is basically going to be my medium to put out amusement park content. And for those of you familiar with uh, the community, it's kind of an oversaturated market um, at this point. But, you know, f*** it, why not? Uh, we're primarily going to be doing, you know, Planet Coaster kind of stuff. Because uh, it is the off-season, there's not a lot going on. And, you know, I kind of get to hone my creativity with this. Uh, be a little bit more left brain left brain it is left brain which is funny because if you know me i used to shit on the arts and this is art in a way so funny how things come full circle and you end up looking like a hypocrite in the end but um the project i've really been working on a lot lately is this park called appalachian adventure which is inspired primarily by um dollywood and pigeon forge tennessee and bush gardens williamsburg in williamsburg virginia one of my home parks if you're familiar with the with the region, the other one being King's Dominion. But there's just such a stark contrast between the Cedar Fair product and, you know, what used to be Anheuser-Busch when it was, you know, the old country and, well, good. Um, SeaWorld's doing all right, I guess. A lot of controversy, and every time I tell people that, they're like, SeaWorld, and, you know, do your research on the industry. I want to tangent again. Uh, maybe it's my ADD that I have not been diagnosed with. I don't believe in, you know, taking pills to be normal and productive. You know, you're, you're given the brain you're given, but that's beside the point. So, Appalachian Adventure. Um, it, I'm gonna do a brief overview, kind of some of the things I'm working on in the park right now. There's a lot of loose ends I don't wanna quite show you just yet because, you know, there's a lot of potential and, and certain visions I have for this project that you can't really see by looking at what's built. So we're going to, uh, I'm going to time lapse here in a sec, you know, finishing up the plaza and the main entrance area, at least getting it close to done. So there's at least one finished focal point of this park. And uh, we'll just take it from there. Uh, I'm, I really don't have any of this scripted at all. It's very much off the wall. And, you know, as the, the seasons change and it gets warmer out, We'll, I'll be doing more content, you know, collaborating with other creators and stuff like that, and going to the parks and, you know, working on photography, filmography, and a load of drinking and riding rides. <laughs> That's always the move. I got stories. Trust me. Steel Vengeance, 10 beers deep, I promise you it'll change your life. Anyway, Appalachian Adventure. Um, if you guys, you know, like this content, you can keep doing it. I I'll keep doing it. If not, I'll keep doing it. You know, I just, I've always kind of figured if you're passionate about something, put it out there and don't hold anything back. And that's kind of what we're going for here. Um, yeah, uh, you know, we'll get more and more into this as time progresses. But for right now, enjoy Appalachian Adventure. If you have any criticism, comments, you want to reach out, you want to collab or anything like that, hit my line. I'm an open book. I love talking and meeting with new people. And yeah, let's just see where this goes. It it could either be a you know, it could be either be like the Hindenburg or it could be something glorious. Um, I'm not doing this for like notoriety or to, you know to build any internet clout. And I hate the fact that I have to put this on YouTube because I feel like being a content creator gets a bad rep because of you know the Jake Pauls and the Rice Gums of the world. But you know f them, they're assholes. So again, without further ado, I give you guys. Appalachian Adventure, and I hope you enjoy. Peace. Uh, I'm not finishing my f***ing intro with a peace sign. What the sh... Okay, guys. We are currently looking at the entrance thus far. What a beautiful skyline I've created. Okay. I'm not, I'm not going to get too cocky on this project, because it is, in my opinion, mediocre. But as compared to a lot of the creators out there, like, you know, Silverette and Shadow Phoenix and Geekism and... You know, all those guys, if, if you really are into this kind of content, I highly recommend you check them out. But what we're looking at right now is what I've done so far, the front entrance. To the left, you'll see the overround, um, overbank turn, 
I guess you could call it a turnaround of uh, Iron Bandit, the park's RMC. Had to do it to him. There's no way I was going to build a park and not build an iBox coaster. It, and especially with the kind of the, the aesthetics I was going for with this park. The terrain just screamed, screamed coaster. And uh, we'll get into that more as this progresses, I guess. But right now we're looking at the front entrance. There's a lot of loose ends, like I said, that need to be completed. But I'm happy with the result thus far. Um, this is going to turn into more of an open plaza in that big grass area you see. We're going to do a lot of, you know, open areas and seating and, and shops and well, more or less customer service, you know, take a boost, you know, the typical stuff you'd find at an amusement park. Right now, um, we're currently looking at the front plaza. Again, very, very rough. There's some seating off to the right. We did implement the grand carousel from the new magnificent rides dlc which it's it's just gorgeous probably going to do a custom ride skin with that not entirely sure what it's going to look like but that is definitely on the agenda and as we zoom out a little bit you know i'll show you the expansion and the areas i got to work with for you know entering the park and the parking lot or as my european friends call it a car park that was very new for me to hear but Let's take a peek. These screens are actually going to have some custom, you know, graphics and designs and stuff for the park, promoting maybe some rides or just the park in general. But as we move forward, forward, I get a lot of flack for how I say that. We'll see, again, a lot of loose ends over there and over there. But it'll all come full circle, and this is the money shot. I really wanted to implement a, a cool skyline, kind of create a, a postcard feel, I guess. And as we move over to this sign, this is something I was incredibly proud of. The Appalachian Adventure main sign. It's two mountains and, you know, two... Whoop, sorry. Uh, still kind of tinkering around with the controls and the interface and all this stuff. But I was very happy with how this turned out. It's, it's just art pieces. And I used some wooden uh, posts to kind of create the outline for the mountains and stuff like that. Some foliage, rock works, etc., etc. A couple minor details and tweaking I have to do here. But I'm incredibly happy with how this turned out. Maybe some seating here. It's a very big slab of concrete. And as we move to the back part of the plaza, that's all going to be filled with foliage. These are actually custom light posts. And as I zoom in here, you can see they're just... It, it's all custom. I was very proud of this. This is actually my first swing at creating something custom custom. If someone else has done it, it's in the workshop and they beat me to it. Please, someone call me out on it. I promise you I'm not trying to plagiarize. But at night, it just lights up the area beautifully. It looks gorgeous. These are going to be implemented throughout the park. Not because I'm lazy, but also because I'm lazy. And they just give off the right amount of light. They're actually, you can see in the background, they're implemented along the terrain of Iron Bandit. And they're just going to not go everywhere. We're going to use a lot of classic lamp posts and columns and stuff like that. But these are going to be used. As we move to the back, the main midway behind the plaza, you see Hot Shot, and I'm currently flying over Bigfoot, the B&M dive coaster. So we got Bigfoot, the B&M dive coaster, and Hot Shot, the Mac multi-launch coaster. I know it screams Intamin, but I just had to use the Mac launch coaster from the Magnificent Rides DLC. I had to use it, and I really wanted to kind of rip off Copperhead Strike there with the, with the Airtime Hill launches. I think it looks cool. Might do some minor tweaking over here. Got a lot of foliage and loose ends to clean up. But this, I wanted to really make sure it was interacting. And as you can see here, it does just that. Speed it up here a little bit and watch it come over the second launch. Just a second. All right, here she comes. I still have to finish off the second half of this layout. I'm not entirely sure how long I want it to make, want to make it, but again, this is all just a work in progress. I'm very excited. But from here on out, we're gonna kind of fill in this area. There's Bigfoot with shops, scenery, and all that good stuff. And yeah, we'll start that shortly. And sorry, I had to cut out some audio. I'm new to this whole editing thing, but that is basically what you guys can expect here within the next couple days. I'm very exhausted right now, and I just kind of wanted to showcase and finally put out a little bit of content. I know there's a lot I didn't show, 
that was intentional because there is some sloppy work going on in this park right now. But yeah, um, that was a very brief introduction and kind of overview of what we got so far, and I'm incredibly excited to show you guys the rest. Until next time, John out. That's definitely not going to be my outro, but you guys get the picture. Cut me some slack. Still figuring this out. Have a good day. Have a good night. Whatever time you're viewing this, peace, love, and prosperity. Ended on a hippie, lovey note, I guess. Later, guys.